Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again with my best friend Koopa. Let's say what's up, guys. Hi. So, um, today we're doing something very unique, something different, something, believe it or not, according to Koopa, uh, no one has ever done before. Uh, we're doing a video game review of... It's Super Animu. There's your hint. We're going to give you two seconds to figure out. Time's up. It's Fate Stay Night. Oh, yeah, Fate Stay Night. Yeah, the Fate Stay Night review on... Uh, it was, it was for the PSP version, correctly? correct, right? PSP. It's PS2 and PSP, but the PSP was the more recent one that was brought up, and the PlayStation Network for a brief amount of time, I think really only about three months until it was inevitably taken down. I'm probably exaggerating, I should have looked at my facts ahead of time, but it wasn't on the PlayStation Network very long. Yeah, I know. So if you're wondering how I, how I got this footage to make it look good, well, we emulated it. <laughs> Your heart failed in being a pirate is a red to me. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Now, uh, now, now, before we, before you say anything else, uh, well, before I say, before we continue, I want to, I want to say right off the fact, I do not control piracy at all. What? It does. <laughs> at all, whatsoever. I do not condone piracy. You know, if you, if you can buy it legally, please do so. But it's one of those cases. But if you're a witch, that's wrong. <laughs> but, but it's one of those cases to where like. It's the only way to get the game because, granted, there's a PS2 version that's out, but but PlayStation has, has hasn't released it yet. And considering that Fate Zero came out not that long ago, well received, mind you, the anime, and that and then there's a movie coming out with with, with the third um the third half coming out next year in Japan, you would think they would release release a new Fate game or at least release this one. Which is done by Capcom, and they did a real good job with it, by the way. That in the back a little bit. Sorry to cut you off there, but um, with the PS2 version, that was Japan only. That one never came to the states, so the PSP one was the only way uh, stateside players were able to get it. Oh, see, I didn't know that. And now, and the fact that you mentioned the fact that how PSP version had such a small window the way it did, I mean, it's the only way too is to do it. But ultimately, what I want to do with this video is. I mean, spread the word. Tell PlayStation, hey, see this footage, be amazed by it, and so just and tell Sony Division, hey, release this online and release this on the store with online capabilities, so we could, you know, play the game online together. Because it's it's feel like this game is an injustice that this game is not available everywhere. It's 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 insane. That and get the rap together and put even more like PlayStation stuff on the network because uh. Total time? Oh, there's only like 31 games. And most of the games is like, I mean, some good, there's some good ones here, like some of the nice old school Grand Theft Auto games, the Dark, Dark Cloud series, Max Payne. But then we have Max Payne 2 up there, and there's a lot of games that's, that's missing, you know, that are, are not out yet. I'm like, where are some of the Ratchet and Clank games? Where are the Jack and Daxter games? You know, where are some of the Kingdom Hearts games? There's so many great PS2 games. PS2 game that came out that that's not even out there yet. Hell, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Fighter then comes to Japan, to America, right? Which was it? Actual? Yeah, that was Ultimate Ninja Five or Excel Two, whatever you want to Excel call it. That that never came to the states here in America, only in Europe. Well, did you release it on the PlayStation Network and release the European version? And there you go, problem solved. You know, it's easy money. And then speaking of CyberConnect Two's. Starting days. There's a whole series called Dot Hack that hasn't been shown to the world that could be released in that way, but they they choose not to because I guess Naruto is now their new baby for all we know. I, I know it's like it's a net, man. It's like it's amazing to me how Namco Bandai is just abandoning this game, just abandoning their what made them pop in the first place. Granted, they did, they did a little side project with Asura's Wrath, but they haven't done anything else besides Naruto since that time. So they need to do something else, you know, and also just, Sony, please release better things, release uh, more things, uh, you know, on your on your system. It, it, it's so bare bones what's going on, you know, with, 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 with its release. It's, it's amazing to me. But, uh, what, okay, try to think. But now the, like, the anime itself, like, what's it basically about? If you've seen the anime of Fate Night, it's hard not to, it's really much not to get, not much to get into in terms of, the the plot because the plot is basically about uh and like you said you've seen the anime you 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 know the plot of the game it's just basically typical just go to the character story uh play the play their story mode and then um i think most of the story modes if i can remember right they're not 
super true to like the original storyline, just I guess because some of them can't really have a story. For example, um, her name uh, Blaze it because she was um, the original master of Lancer, and she's not seen the series at all because she's killed off screen by Kira. I guess we should say spoilers. But that's oh, not that oops. Much of a big one. That wasn't much of a big one anyway. Yeah, they didn't really show her. Hopefully, with the third movie, they show who she is because you get a game version of the of the character which we have footage of, but like you don't see her in anime form at all. You know, I would like to know who this character is and when how she lost to Kira. But, you know, maybe with the third movie they'll finally rectify that. But until then, she's, she hasn't shown any appearances yet at all. But like I said, that's the ones that, are, like my friend Koopa mentioned, aren't accurate. It's just, you know, hey, you know, this is what happened if they would have won. So it's, it's all, it's like a big Mortal Kombat, like, fight to the death, you know, with the with this battle royal thing, determine who gets this ultimate holy grail-like thing. But it's not always it's cracked up to be, if you, watch, if, you, if, you if you know the anime, of course. But um, but the combat is it's really fun. It, it reminds me a lot of like Tekken and uh, gets into Titan of uh, Naruto, the, the other Naruto games. Which by the way, you haven't made it. Uh, Doctor told me I haven't made any of that Naruto game since. And the last one was like Arbo. They didn't really put the uh, painter <laughs> during the hard Yeah, time. special. That only had, like, Sage Naruto, Killer B, Raikage, uh, Naruto's dad, and then, you know... And, uh, <laughs> I mean, come on. It was just so bare-bones, and most of it was just borrowing from the, the, the American version. version. Yeah. Because Shia was American-made, I believe. Kurono and Baki were also American-made, and they just took from that. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, wow, it was a great sequel. Not really. So... <laughs> But yeah, so it's like the, the King Blade combat plays a lot like uh, pretty much, um, like I said, mentioned before, those type of games. It plays like Tekken, it's easy to pick up, a harder master, but it's, it's it, but you can get to move around like it's an initial Tyson in a 3D circle. Kind of like with Tekken 2. So it, it, it's easy to pick up and it's fun. You know, the graphics are great, especially for PSP, and it plays fine. It, I could definitely see like an Evo kind of thing with this kind of game because it's pretty balanced. There's no broken characters. Maybe with exception with Sakura's character. Well, and she, she's kind of akin to the Akuma for this game. She can dish out the pain, but she can't take it herself. Yeah, so so she's, she's like the glass cannon of the game. But yeah, all the characters are great. You know, all the famous characters you know and love are in, are, are in this game. There's even some extra ones. Like, a fun fact, like, you know, the spear guy that was in Fate Night Zero is an alternate costume for him. You can use him in the game as well. So it's so he even kind of, like, um, shows off the the other, uh, that uh, off as well. So it's just really cool to have all these cool, um, these cool extras and things. It's just, it's just such a shame that a game like this hasn't been released in America. I'm like, you would think, like, 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 like I mentioned before, with Fate Zero coming out being with a big hit and then the movie come out, they will release, they got a new game of Fate Night, release released or at least re-released this, but they have it. Well, there is one technically Fate Night game coming out, but it's not exactly what you're thinking, because there's all these side series and sub-series, but there's going to be a, uh, a Dynasty Warrior-esque um, like Fate extra game. I don't know much about it, and I don't know much about that side path, but it's a thing, it's happening, and it's actually coming to America too, so it's a step in the right direction. But um, in terms of what that one's about, it's like a totally different continuity. It's not the the night series that's you know tightly in with both Zero and then the three different pathways for Fate Night, which is the original one. I guess is I think it's just called Fate uh, Limited Blade Works, which is more focused on um, Archer and uh, Shiro's kind of um, their little dealings with each other won't spoil that for you. And then the one that's getting a movie finally, which is Heaven's Field, which is more focused on um, Sakura and kind of her dealings with her family and whatnot. Then her past as well. Right. Coming, for, cool, coming full circle and whatnot. But yeah, it, it was... Uh, it, so yeah, so that, that's pretty cool. So hopefully with that, they will spawn that, hey, there's also, you know, people get interested in saying, hey, is there other... Uh, Fate Night games like a fight or something and hopefully with this video and show that hey there's this this looks awesome please release it on PlayStation Network so we can play online with, with my friends please because let me tell you something right now if, play, if I, I hear PlayStation release it like tomorrow I buy that in a heartbeat so I can play with my friend online with my friend Koopa because it's a really oh you still need PlayStation Plus I mean that's the sad thing about it you need PlayStation Plus but you get my point point being that 
you you can play online with your friends, and it's a fun fighter. It, it's just amazing to me how, you know, I know Capcom wouldn't mind. They need the money, so I'm pretty sure. And it, it, it just, it, they still they just still make good fighters, so I'm pretty sure Capcom wouldn't mind making a, a updated version of this game. But it's just a matter of just doing it right, giving the game justice, and just releasing it. And not just that game, other PS2 games in general. I mean, my God, like I said, what was this tour? It is barren as a motherfucker. Even PSP games is where, and you know what? At this point, I think everybody can agree, PS Vita is pretty much dead, right? right? Yeah. It, I'm not hearing no complaints on that. Can we just get some PS Vitas released on PS4 just to play them through that? Like the Tales, was it the Tales, which one? Tales of Heart are... And us and the, the, the Sega game that came out you wanted to... Fantasy Star. I mean, yeah, and make that have multiplayer online as well, so other people can get involved. Because uh, they, they released it on PC, but it's only for Japan. But the only thing we got American wise was the Vita version. But the, like, like I said, when's the last time you see the Vita commercial? Maybe the last one I've, I've seen or heard about was the uh, Kelzo Mercenary one, and haven't heard anything since. And the other supposed big games that was supposed to make it to the next level were flopped. Because most of the Vita games that. You can get you can get on system like Mortal Kombat, uh, Ultima was Capcom 3. You have you can get that on systems. Uh, Mortal Kombat X, uh, Mortal Kombat 9. You can get that on systems. Borderlands 2. Why would you even bother with a super inferior port? Exactly. So it's like there's so many different versions that is that is you know that they have. It's like a case of they have the games. They they have, they have it's a case of they, the games are already out on systems already. So what's the point? So, again, PlayStation, please release this game on there. As you can see, it's a fun fighter. It's fun. It's it's balls to the walls. It's a simple um, game. That, that, I'm pretty, you know, simple, fun game that that sh people should miss out on this. It's a fun fighter. They should, you know, I mean, I can't express enough on, enough how this game could sell, sell well like crazy. And if you sell it with a reasonable price, like, what, $20 is the whole game? Twenty twenty five, you know, maybe thirty, you know, with the with the boost, with the graphics and the online capabilities and stuff, it could be something really great. At the end of the day, in my opinion, they should just release it because this game has a chance to really blow fate out of the door. Granted, the Final Fantasy game, my friend Cooper mentioned, could be is a good a good stepping stone, but also this fire should be released on a bigger scale because at the end of the day, it should give it should be given a proper, you know, a proper, you know. Um, way to show it off. So I'm just seeing these videos of just like people silently talking, showing gameplay of the game on YouTube. Really, you know, get a community together. I mean, after all, these it shows you these gaming communities are a, a viable market. You know, like with, you know, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct. It shows that if you do it, if you do it right, you have a good market out there. So Heck, and along with um, releasing releasing it separately, separately, I don't know, I can talk. Um, they should just pull what a uh, Sword Art did, because originally with a Sword Art Lost Song, if you went ahead and pre-ordered it, they went ahead and gave you the copy of Hollow Fragment for free. They should just go ahead and do that with um, Unlimited Codes um, when you pre-order the uh, Dynasty Warriors-esque one that's coming down the line. You get that, but if you don't want to pre-order, they can always do it separately as a 1999 thing as well. Just to boost in sales on that as well. Yeah, yeah. So overall, because that's always a good pre-order bonus, not the scummy, hey, you want Black Goku? You better pre-order, you're never getting them. Oh, that's a bad time. Why do you do that? Why? So anyway, um, <laughs> overall, um, give this game a chance. Definitely, get, uh, hopefully, spread the word. Give the game a chance. Look into it. And demand, write emails, demand, do whatever it takes for Sony to release this game, like, like on its own thing or, or, or package to get a point. Get it out there so that this game like this can get the proper, you know, the proper, the, the, what it deserves, you know, to be checked out and played by people. Because it's definitely a game that's definitely deserved to be checked out by the masses because it's definitely a great fighter. And, you know, it goes to say that Capcom can do other great fighters besides. You know, Street Fighter done. You know, Dark Stalker series, Power Stone, and even done even a good license game with Fate Night. So, I say do it. You know. All right, guys, that's the video, guys. Hope you I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoy the footage too. Like I said, get someone to get this released out there. It totally deserves uh, your money and time. Yeah, a, just have them take a a, a message from uh, Shia LaBeouf's book and just. Do it! <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. It's always Rock and Blade signing out. Hope we see you guys again real soon. Again, also thank you, Kuba, for the amazing editing. You do an amazing job as always. All right, guys. Peace out, man.
Take care.